Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing and please remember to subscribe and ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. And if you liked what you saw in this video, I'm Dave if you can't tell, give us a thumbs up and place a comment below so that we know what you're thinking and we hope to see you out here. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Yes. Were you doing that because you have fancy rings on? I got bling. <laughs> I got you bling. Do. Our friend Heather makes jewelry yes. and uh, she made these rings and I love turquoise and then she made me a Roger Klein glyph. glyph. I don't know. That's probably not going to be in focus. I'll take another shot of it. A specialty ring. How yeah. awesome. Really? Are you making fun of me? I was making fun of you because you talk like this. I'm the new Kanye. <laughs> Kanye? Yeah, I'm D. It's just what D. What are you saying? Or D. -a. I, I think that you're going off the rails here. No, now. I'm kind of... You... Oh, really? Yeah. You don't even know what you're saying, but it's kind of cute. I'm fairly fly for a white guy. Yeah. Yeah, you are. here in Ruidoso. I hope I'm saying that right. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we just found this really cool wood carving workshop where they make wood carvings. Um, a lot of them are bears and they're awesome. They, so Dave went in, went in the back and was shown kind of what they do and they have some really cool gifts in here. And we met Dana and she was awesome and we're so happy that we stopped in. I even got a gift from my dad. My name's Dana. Dana, and you work here at, what is this place called? Grizzlies Bears. Grizzlies Bears. We take trees that are harvested out of the forest, ponderosa pine. They carve the bears, then they sit in the sun and dry for a day or so. Then I sand the ears and noses. Then we torch them with the propane torch, burn them all over. Then they go out for sale. And we make signs, we make furniture, a little bit of everything. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good day. So we're going to be going back to my hometown in July and uh, I miss a lot of birthdays uh, for uh, my family. So this is a great, great place to look for presents. And I found something that I'm going to buy for my dad. And it's this wood carving that just says dad's beer and has a little bottle opener on it and a place to put your caps for, from your beer. So I think this would be a perfect gift for my dad for his workshop where he makes fish hooks and uh, makes his moose meat into burger and things like that. I think this will go nicely on the wall in there. Happy birthday, dad. Now you'll know what you're getting. <laughs> now we've probably mentioned this in other episodes, but my cousin Lyle, who lives up in Minnesota, we collect keychains for him and mail them back to Minnesota for Lyle. There you go, Lyle. So right before we left Dana, our tour guide and the person working in the shop gave us this because I told her we can't really buy anything because we have nowhere to put it. She said she found this little sign for us and uh, it means welcome in Spanish. So we're gonna put a little hook on it and hang it outside of our door, maybe on our window. Thanks, Dana. We're in the Midtown area and it is really, really busy here. There are so many boutiques, cafes, art galleries, breweries, um, different kinds of shops, candy shops, places to eat, restaurants, bars, everything. There's just so much to do here. And we actually saw an elk in the middle of town, which was hilarious. So, you know, they have everything to offer here and we've been having a really good time.
one last task. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash, getting on the road. How do you feel about leaving this place? I like this place. Eagle Creek Campground in Ruidoso. Hey, I got it. Yes, you did. Actually, it's in Alto. Oh. But same area. All right. All right, our gate's closing uh -oh. on us. Hey Dave, see that sign behind you? It doesn't say harvest host though. Okay. So the plan is to back into uh, a couple spots back there for harvest hosts. Looks pretty ample, we just gotta watch those trees. They're low hanging. So uh, we'll go on to the far side away from the trees and park there for the night and then load in for our show. I discovered that it would be a lot easier to use my earbuds because when I put Dave on speakerphone on the phone, I have to hold the phone and then um, the volume for some reason is never very loud. So this is working great. And I'm gonna help him back in. We have high trees and obstacles on the ground. All right, can you hear me? Okay, you're doing good. You're good with the trees above you. They're all fine. So you don't have to worry about that. It's just this barrier on the ground here. Okay, stop, stop. Yeah, that's, that'll work. So we made it, we got back in and it wasn't too tight. We just wanted to make sure that we left room for other people and they said, just park wherever. So we parked wherever, and uh, the bar we're playing at, the brewery is right across the street behind us. Little backdoor uh, load-in area, which is nice. Load-ins are big, big, big time when you have been doing this a while. So you like the good load-ins. So we're gonna get set up. Jacqueline's gonna get a bite to eat. We'll run over and we'll start setting up. Short show today, it'll be fun. Welcome to another Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. Today I wanted to talk about inflammation. So we always think about inflammation as being painful. Um, Dave had inflammation, he had pain in the bottoms of his feet before he changed his nutrition. But you don't always know that you do have inflammation in your body. One way that you can get that checked is to go to your doctor and have what's called a CRP test. And that will measure inflammation. But my tip today is to, you know, change your diet and incorporate some healthy fats, um, omega-3s, into your diet. So one way that you can do that is having um, oils, things like olive oil and flaxseed oil and canola oil. Um, another way to do that is to have fish, and you can have uh, cod, mackerel, and some, some salmons also certain greens, spinach and kale. Um, another tip is to have some whole grain fiber. And so that would be things like this Ezekiel bread that we use often. 
Um, and whole grains just mean that they're not refined. So the refined flour, that means they're stripped of their nutrients, their minerals, and their antioxidants. So you want to reduce those or eliminate those as much as possible. And the last tip I have is to avoid sugar. I don't have an example of that for you because we don't keep sugar in the house. And that's been another Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. We just rolled into Los Alamos for Bathtub Row Brewing Company. This is the third time we've been here. We've played twice here now. Well, it will be twice, and we've visited here once. And I uh, tried not to drive up the cliff face again, but I missed my turn. I had it all planned out, and I uh, had to do the uh, the white knuckle ride up the, up the cliff face. So there is a road to get around, the truck road. Um, I highly recommend it because you are on the edge of that cliff and it is scary. So we're gonna um, get pulled in here. This is kind of a crazy back end. This is a, a weird angle. You got those poles over there and uh, you got it. And then now I have cars over here. <laughs> so I'm really testing my merit today. This will be good. All right, so he's gonna pull that out of here and uh, I'll guide you in. Okay. All right. Sounds good. This is called the Echo Amphitheater and we are in the Carson National Forest in New Mexico. And we didn't know it was here, we were just driving by and wow. So I said we need to stop, we need to pull over and we need to check this out because this is pretty fantastic. I mean, look at this thing, wow. The large concave hollow before you is a natural amphitheater carved by the action of water cascading over colorful cliffs of sandstone. This area represents the southeasternmost portion of the Colorado Plateau, a thick crustal block of the continent that has been lifted up and forms a high desert environment with scattered forest. This is why we do this. This is why we travel around Canada, US, a little bit of Mexico, so that we can see things like this. Wow. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing and please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell so we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. If you liked what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and place a comment below because we love to know what you're thinking, honestly. And we hope to see you out here. We'll see you out here.